Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Ko. Today I would like to talk about a patient presentation I saw last week in my clinic in Melbourne. So it was a young mother brought in three months old child uh, with the odd looking misshapen head. The child is otherwise well, however, um, mother is concerned whether she should be doing something about it. She already read on the internet on the children hospital website and she is aware that this could be corrected by the with time with the appropriate uh, conservative measures. So yeah and we so it would make me to refresh a bit of my memory after spoke speaking to her and um, and I would like to share this on on the video where where do we can where can we read about it and um, so that we are equipped with knowledge needed to manage these presentations so this is the screen recording of from my computer I'm opening on Firefox the Raoul Children Hospital website this is mainly for patient fact sheet information and, the, and then it come in with the other page I found was the Queensland Hospital referral guidelines. This is a patient uh, fact sheet by physiotherapy department which is very good. I would, norm I would normally print this out and give it to the parents. All right, let's start with to the page. So plagiocaphaly uh, is a very common craniofacial problem. And most of the time what we see is positional plagiocaphaly, which means it is because of babies, a baby is preferring a certain position over the other. And it doesn't affect the baby's uh, brain development. However, it can cause many cosmetic as well as an even growth of face and head which can have um, quite a bad consequences and usually the baby's newborn baby's bones are thin and flexible so the head is soft and it may change shape depending on how what position the baby is sleeping and um, in terms of location usually it is on the back or to the side if baby sleep on the side. The main thing we need to rule it out is that premature early closure of the um, cranial sutures that's not good and it is called synostosis. And if we can rule that out, um, the easy way I do is that if you can feel the suture lines and if they are still not close and that is usually okay. And also in the newborn, it is quite common to have a, any abnormal shape and usually because of molding during passage from maternal birth canal, or even if there was a prematurity or even uh, instrumental deliveries. And that should return with time. However, sometimes it doesn't happen. So if a young mother bring, or sorry, a, a newborn baby could be a month or two old is brought to you by parents and worry about the misshapen head. Things we can discuss and inform is of these four topic. The first is sleeping position. I'm just going to move off the screen. Sleeping position and baby must always be placed on their back. So to reduce sits, uh, don't need any pillows and head and cot position for sleeping is important and baby's head position need to be alternate in a position and was as well as in the playtime uh, we need to use different position uh, during play and it is important to keep toys in different parts so that the baby don't lean on one side in particular or the other the last thing is holding position variation. So it is mainly talking about variations, variation in sleep, 
variation in head and cord position, variation in play time and toy, and variation when they are holding the baby. So in terms of um, this is something most presentation can be managed. However, if you are seeing children after six months um, and uh, at least eight months old now, and if the child's head shape is still not reversing, it need referral. So the in terms of referral pathway, um, the, it depends on what need to be done. So most children, as it mentioned here, most children do not need any treatment. However, if need treatment, depending on underlying cause, if it is positional, phalagio uh, it will be mainly with the general pediatrician or phys children peer physiotherapist. Um, that's somewhere we can start first because there is a particular helmet that uh, protect the head as well as keep the reshape the scalp taking the pressure of the flat area. Um, one thing we need to know is that it is not like a constricting band on the head. This is mainly to allow the baby on the back of the head to take off the pressure. So think of this as a moon boot. Uh, there is no, the child would not be in pain or having like headaches. However, it need to be quite custom made and uh, to fit fit with individual child child child's head shape, so it's important to do it properly. Otherwise, if you if it doesn't fit well or if it is moving around in sleep, the benefit is not better than using conservative treatments only. So there are a few more information on the website about how to care for the baby during helmet, um, talking about avoidance of, of uh, any pressure injury, mainly uh, skin irritation, um, as well as the uh, key points at the end of this document. So this is a good document. It is not designed for medical doctors directly. However, it's a good starting point to read and you can learn from these two um, teach parents, all right? Second source I want to go is the, this is the Children Hospital Guideline from the Queensland Health. And um, so this is slightly more structural uh, and the text are quite small to read, so I'm going to make it bigger. So purpose, introduction, mentioning of the positional phalagio uh, It's we already know that they are more common in premature children. This is more interesting. Multiparity, prolonged labor or restricted intrauterine movement. Hmm. And also the because we don't want kids to sleep on the face, we make them sleep on the back or side, so the flattening of the occiput is more common. That's another interesting statement. So positional is fine, however craniosynostosis is not. So this is due to premature fusion. Uh, it is very rare, but uh, it need to be alert, we need to look out for it every time we see any child with position of phalagio cephaly. When this happens, this is not just on the back of the skull, this will happen facial bones as well, so the child may look unwell. So assessment, um, history, resting position, perinatal factors, uh, as well as birth history. ASMI the patient, uh, we will check the size of the head, any dysmorphic features, 
and uh, I am not fully aware of this condition, congenital muscular torticollis. This is something that spawn with the slight uh, fixed deformity of the neck, and uh, we will do head examination. With management, if it is positional, it's the same as what we spoke about, strategies. And uh, yeah, when we refer, usually physiotherapists are the one who will check the kids first. And need to monitor monthly since the time period is that any modification before 12 months is usually res yielding good results. And... Um, as far as we know, uh, most suture should be all closed before 18 months. So, yep, time is of es essence. So, when to refer is also an interesting time. I read a few pages and they don't really give us a clear time since our deadline since each child and each situation could be different so therefore I would say if you around six to eight months is where intervention need to be considered if there is no uh, curation or reshaping of the head appropriately So yeah, the rest is more disclaimer and legal stuff. Now this is the, I will include all these links in the video uh, summary. So this is something you can give it to the parents and very useful with the pictures. So one thing I just noticed that was I'm reading this as live. Uh, Dr. Margie's blog, I find them very informative for us for general pediatrics so let's see interesting i can't pull down this screen hmm, it's even flattened out so there is a video and so if i open it what happened So, well, I'll include the headlink as well, so you can have a watch of that. Well, this is uh, as much as about as fled you carefully. I hope this video is useful to you, and I will try to uh, upload similar useful videos in the future, and we all sh can share and learn together. If you think, or if, you, if I forget anything to talk, uh, please leave any comment. Um, I will come back to it if it is appropriate. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.